That's right, plenty of sunshine coming our way, so we're yellow out there. And it's just going to be another nice day. A summer-like day, though, it is going to be a little bit hotter. We're going to be dealing with some humidity. Heat index values near 100, but wet weather's on the way as we head into this weekend, especially into next week. So as we take a look at the national view, uh, things are quiet across the southeast. High pressure dominating and not a whole lot of rain to be found. However, a couple of disturbances emerging into the Gulf, and we'll talk about that in just a second, but notice that cool air still in place across a good chunk of the U.S., but there's that frontal boundary right across Texas and Oklahoma. Oklahoma, not gonna make it to us. Unfortunately, no fall like weather just yet, but temperatures are relatively comfortable this morning. 72 is not bad with the dew points in the mid 60s. As for Greenwood, 73 dew points in the 60s as well. And across the region, we're generally looking at 70s across the board from Kosciuszko to Tunica. Jackson, Vicksburg, a little bit warmer, mid to upper 70s, 73 in Little Rock and 75 in El Dorado. So again, not a whole lot of variation going on this morning. And the satellite and radar, quiet across the entire state of Mississippi. Arkansas, most of the state looking good other than the western part where some showers are moving in. And Louisiana, relatively quiet this morning as well. So we're going to stay quiet. No rain expected today. However, there's still going to be a little bit of that patchy smoke from those wildfires out west. And again, this isn't going to be a huge deal. Most of it so far in the upper atmosphere. It's not going to cause a lot of issues unless you have a very sensitive respiratory system. You could have a couple of flare ups, but overall this is going to start to move out and notice no rain coming into the region through Friday morning. Things stay off to our west. And again, that smoke gradually going to start to move off to the west. Notice it starts to really lighten up as we head into Friday and then some showers start to return to the Pine Belt and coastal regions of Mississippi starting tomorrow. Rain chances really don't increase here until Saturday and Sunday, especially as we head into next week. It's starting to look like we could even see some widespread rain. In fact, the Climate Prediction Center has about an 80 to 90 percent chance that our entire area, including Mississippi, Arkansas and Louisiana, will be above average in the rainfall department heading into the middle of next week. So wet weather on the way and changes coming from all the sunshine we've been seeing. So right now, the tropics are very, very active. Actually, the most active they've been all season long. And in fact, it is the official peak of the tropical uh, season. So I guess that is uh, just the way it goes. As for Renee and Paulette, Renee is a tropical storm going to become potentially a hurricane before turning into the North Atlantic. A fish storm not going to affect any land. As for Paulette, going to maybe impact Bermuda heading into the weekend. Uh, but it's going to turn before it hits the U.S. There's also a weak disturbance off the Carolina coast. Low chance of becoming anything tropical, but we're dealing with two systems in the Gulf. So this one moving across Bermuda and across the Florida Peninsula into the weekend has about a 30% chance of development. There's another system that's going to be diving into the southern Gulf as we head into the weekend, about a 20% chance of development. So that is three disturbances that we're watching for potential impacts to the U.S. Aside from the two storms that are in the open <laughs> Atlantic, there's also two waves coming off the African coast that could potentially become tropical as well. So it is just very busy and we're going to have to continue to keep you updated because we're just now getting really into the thick of it. As you can see, the official peak of hurricane season is today and then from then it starts to come down but about 50 percent of the activity happens after september 1st um, so we got a long way to go and we've already went through 17 of the 21 named storms so we're going to be in the greek alphabet for the first time since 2005 more than likely especially if it continues at this pace so we'll keep you updated on the systems moving into the gulf but as of now things are looking uh, relatively quiet at least for the next couple of days highs around 94 plenty of sunshine those heat index values could reach near 100 though and the highs across the region going to top out at 92 in Carrollton, 92 in clarksdale 94 in indianola so low to mid 90s across the entire region tonight back into the low 70s maybe a couple spots in the upper 60s mostly clear skies tomorrow 94 mostly sunny yet again and heading into your next seven days Rain returns this weekend into next week. That'll do it for your morning weather. Back to you, Bryce.